Hi, today we're going to unpack what is PTQ and how it relates to Indiana's child care programs and finding child care, a quality child care program. If you have young children in child care or you're just starting your child care journey as a family, this is for you. So at Child Care Answers, we really believe that you are your child's first and biggest advocate. You know what your child needs in a program. So the first step in, in finding a program that will work for your family is asking yourself, what are your hopes and dreams for your child in their care? As a parent, um, I, my daughter is now 19 months old, but when she was a newborn, I knew that I wanted a program that was safe and inviting for her and for me as a new mother. Safe sleep was probably my biggest priority for my child, but I also really wanted an environment where the cribs were visible and the materials were engaging for her and would also grow with her. Because in the infant room, they start off at like six, eight weeks, and then they grow all the way up to 12 months. Uh, there's a lot going on there, and I wanted that room to reflect that development. So one way to know what you want is to have a deeper understanding of PTQ, and that is Indiana's quality rating system, Paths to Quality. You probably seen signs outside of child care programs that have a big PTQ one, two, three, or four. Well, that's the quality rating system for child care programs in the state of Indiana. We're gonna spend some time talking through this tiered system. It starts with a level one and goes all the way up to a level four. And we're gonna talk about each step and how it builds upon each other. So level one are programs that have voluntarily chosen to be a part of Paths to Quality. So this means that they care about providing quality uh, for early child care and education. And these programs meet all the basic health and safety standards. So what this looks like is having safe teacher-child ratios, all the hazardous materials are locked away, it's clean, it's safe. Now building upon that is level two. Programs at level two demonstrate commitment to improving their program quality. So they're taking it up a step and they're offering environments that support children's growth, development, and learning at a deeper level. The programs have evidence of consistent daily schedules. They have planned activities for children and they're sharing this information with families. So what this looks like is having a picture schedule hung in the classroom, no matter what the age is. So children know what to expect throughout their day. It looks like seeing children engage in purposeful play. Often teachers will set up an activity that is inviting and engaging that will spark curiosity and play of the children. And then another important quality of level two is the idea that adults are at the children's level, playing with them, asking questions about their learning and asking them how they're doing, meeting those social emotional needs, but then also supporting as they're navigating with peers and learning just how to be social beings. Now the next level is level three. So again, we're taking everything from level one and level two and then adding another step. So you'll see there's a star on the top left corner and this star indicates high quality. The state of Indiana considers levels three and level four to be high quality childcare programs. So these programs take it up a step by using a planned curriculum to support children's learning and school readiness. They also focus on the professional development of their staff and incorporate family and staff input into their program. I, as a former teacher and now parent, one of the most exciting things to me when I was touring programs was to see that they had a professional development day for their teachers. Because when I saw that, I knew that they were building into their staff so that their staff can build into my child. It's so important to keep staff um, refreshed and with their knowledge of child development and education. And having these days and professional learning experiences is critical for your child's teacher as they're learning and growing alongside your child. This also looks like having curriculums that are planned ahead. Uh, parents are able to clearly see how the curriculum supports the learning and then also in turn school readiness for kindergarten. Typically you'll see these curriculums, they'll give them a week before, a month before, you're going to know what to expect. Whereas in a level two, you know it's happening because you see it happening at the end of the day, you're getting information about it. But with the level three, you're going to see it before it happens and you can ask them, can I see the curriculum? 
what standards do you use to build your lessons from? So you can really dive deeper into that um, understanding of how they are connecting learning and growth to their play and experiences and care. And then there's level four programs. And these are the programs that have achieved the highest rating on Indiana's quality rating system, PTQ. They demonstrate a commitment to professionalism and quality early care and education of young children. And they do this by achieving a nationally recognized accreditation. This is a high achievement for a child care program to obtain. And it really means that they're being recognized at a national level for the excellence of their program. It's important to remember that Pass to Quality is a voluntary program at the end of the day. And so because of that, we really encourage families to step foot inside every single program before enrollment, whether it's a PTQ1, whether it's not on Pass to Quality or it's a four, it's important for you to go inside the program to really see if this is gonna be the best fit for you. And this is what you need in a quality program. So when you're touring, you can look for signs of quality and ask questions about quality. It's really important to do both. Some questions you may ask yourself include, are children being watched at all times, including while they're sleeping? Are infants napping on their backs in cribs with no pillows or blankets? Are they following safe sleep practices? Are the caregivers warm and welcoming? Are children engaged in daily activities? And do they have choice in these activities? Is there different areas for play? Can they make those choices to play with the blocks or maybe go to a sensory table and play with some sand or water? Uh, what activities do they have available? And then on top of that, are they age appropriate? Lastly, I think it's important to always ask about the outdoor space. Sometimes that's not included in the tour, even though um, it's a big part of an early childhood program. So always asking, can I see the playground? Is the equipment the right size for um, your child and the children that will be using that space as well? We can help you at Child Care Answers. We can help you by running a child care referral, helping you find a program that is quality close to your home. We can talk to with you one-on-one -on -one and be an advocate for you and with you to help support you as you're navigating this process and finding a program. We have workshops that we offer to families, but then we also have a lot of resources online from short videos to TikToks to um, a whole YouTube channel. We also have information on helping you pay for childcare in the state of Indiana, and we can connect you to some community resources as well if you're needing additional supports. And all of our supports are in Spanish, and we work with translators to support all languages. I think the biggest tool in finding a quality child care program that we offer is at our Choosing Care resource page. And you can find that at childcareanswers.org backslash choosing hyphen care. There you're going to find a bunch of questions as you're navigating your child care tours. These questions will help you um, decipher quality and also decipher if this is the best fit for you and your child and your family. I want to end today by sharing that Child Care Answers is only one of five local child care resource and referral agencies across the state of Indiana, and together we make up the Child Care Resource and Referral Network. From helping you decipher quality to providing a list of child care programs near your home, we can help you as you are navigating your child care process and your early childhood experiences with your young children. Have more questions about paths to quality? Please feel free to put them in the comments.